Season 48 is underway and things are going well. Here to talk about how he's adjusting is our new cast member, Devin Walker. Thank you for having me, Chad. Anytime, man. So how's this whole experience been for you, man? You digging New York? Uh, not really. Uh, if I'm being honest, I think New York's a little overrated. Wow. Well, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Texas. Oh, yeah. Texas. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, what? You know, I mean, honestly, don't do that. Don't do that. I, I hate how New Yorkers talk about where I'm from, all right? Every single time I tell a New Yorker I'm from Texas, they apologize to me like I fought in a war. <laughs> all right? Every single time they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that happened to you. They'll say stuff like that. And it's like, Texas isn't a perfect place, but every single time I step outside of my apartment in New York, I see the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> And that's a normal thing to see, all right? Like, one time I saw a kid get into a fist fight with a bird, and the bird was winning. <laughs> I told my homie who's from the neighborhood what I saw, and he goes, oh, that's just Mike. That's what he said. And I didn't know if he was talking about the kid or the bird. <laughs> you know, if you saw that in Texas, they'd shut Texas down forever, all right? Nobody would go to school or anything. They'd just hang out at home until the vibes got right again. Well, you just got here. I'm sure you'll start to fit in. All right, speaking of fitting in, uh, can, I, can I ask the audience a question real quick? Please. Okay. Uh, hey, guys, y'all think I look like a cat caller? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I look like one, but ever since I moved here, every time I see a dude who, who's doing a cat call, we have on the exact same outfit. And I like it. <laughs> All right, sometimes I pass women on the street and I see them look at me and they go, like that. <laughs> They try to dodge me real quick, and I know why it happens, all right? I'm a large man. Large men have been responsible for a lot of bad things historically, you know? But I've been trying to figure out how to communicate to these women that I'm not going to do anything weird. So anytime one tries to avoid me, I've just been whispering, like, hey, baby girl, don't worry about it. I'm regular. <laughs> well, why are you whispering? I don't know, man. My body's big. I try to make my voice little, OK? <laughs> it's hard out here. You might be overthinking it, Devin. I don't think I am, all right? Look, watch this, watch this. Hey, real quick. Where are my straight boys at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, morale is real low right now. Right? If I had to ask that question in 1996, the building would have exploded. <laughs> 30 Rock would just be gone because the hetero boys brought it down, but we get a lot of bad press right now. <laughs> we get a lot of bad press. I think we can change it. I think we got to do a culture shift. I think oh. that's what we need. Mm -hmm. I think all of us need to try to be a little bit more gay. <laughs> Uh, say what now? I said what I said, Michael. All right, our culture is bad. We need a shift. Every single year, 37 of my homies invite me to be in a fantasy football league, and I don't think the straight community knows that we don't have to do that. <laughs> I just want my brothers to be free. <laughs> Next time one of my homies asks me if I'm drafting Tom Brady, I swear I'm gonna be like, nah, dog, I'm trying to kiss you on the lips, actually. <laughs> Devin Walker, everybody. I kiss Michael Chase. We did nothing. I'm Michael Chase. I'm Kyle Jones. Good night.